hello dear student in this video uh, we will learn different examples of list box uh, how exactly it works so these are very simple examples here you can see this is a list box and these are some different items are enlisted over here so where from where we are to add these items you know that edit items you can see here these are the different items text value the items and the value are also having the item one item two text item 2 and value it is also item 2 then another one item 3 uh, text value and the item value are the same one you can change this value also so uh, let's see uh, these are some list box 1 and there is one submit button and one label now it's a source part uh, now in this source part the script is written in on the same page of the source part here you can see uh, the script over here uh, so uh, if I double click on the button then automatically it's a CS, uh, C sharp page get open and there also you can write the code so in this example uh, the code has been written within this source page so that is also possible so here in a ASPX page at the back code along with the HTML code of UI uh, you can add your script now here see you can see script language c sharp run at server and uh, submit button click now i told you it's a click event let's go to the design part submit and let's check the properties okay in the properties uh, these are the events after the properties next window next square this is an event click on the event you can see here submit btn underscore click so the same one you can find for the button click event okay so here uh, the code is that uh, if list box one dot selected index is greater than minus one means it contains some items then label one dot text it is assigned with uh, this string that is a you choose shows uh, this is an a string concatenated with list box one dot selected item dot text in last video we have seen what is that select uh, list box one uh, this is an object and this function method selected item and text it will return the text value uh, text content of that selected item which has been selected by the user on the browser so when uh, the condition has been put over here as the, if the selected index is greater than minus one uh, what is the need of it uh, so first it will check that whether uh, the list box contains some items uh, or selected index it should be greater than minus one means something should be get selected uh, why it is uh, there minus one that you know that uh, index starts from zero that's why it is taken as a greater than minus one if it is a zero means first item selected or second item selected something should be get selected and then uh, we can uh, say that uh, the, it will retrieve the correct value of that particular item text so let's run this program and other things these are uh, head part uh, body part of the source html source code that you know that asp list box it has been just tracked over there and back end the code will be get generated now selection mode by default it is a single one and list items here also you can add the list item uh, in this next line asp list item item 7 and slash asp list item so here you can add i will show you this time i will copy paste this one So here the new item has been added with item number 7 save it control s and let's see the design part here you can see the item number 7 just we have to add drag this one size we have to increase the size so here you can see the item 7 added so through you also you can add the item uh, through this uh, square box or through the source item also you can add the item Suppose I add another one, item number 8, save it and see the design part, again we have to drag it, now see item number 8 has been added. Now let's run this program, save this one. Okay. 
एग्जाम्पल टू व्यू इन ब्राउजर see this is an output uh, here you can see item number 1 item 2 so select any one suppose i selected item number 5 and say submit uh, so see here on uh, this label 1 uh, it has been printed as a you chose item 5 uh, suppose i selected item number 8 and say submit yes you chose item 8 item 1 i selected and say submit item 1 selected so let's switch to next example example 3 uh, now in this example uh, it is for uh, multiple selections so let's see its source code in source code you will see here selection mode is equal to multiple and from ui from how to assign it just right click on the properties go to the properties and here you can see the selection mode set it to the multiple means multiple items can be get selected and just uh, it will be get displayed on the browser with this example uh, let's see the source code part okay so this one is a button id this is for the label and these are the list items so we will not focus on this one let's go to the scripting uh, so in the scripting script language c sharp run at server and then within that the block of code has been written of the button click code now where to get the button click now here go to the properties and you will understand the name of uh, that click event when you click this function will get called submit btn underscore click go to the source part okay here you can see void uh, submit button underscore click uh, here in this function uh, first of all string message is equal to nothing null uh, now for each now here uh, again i am suggesting you revise c sharp concept your basic looping then condition statement and array concept whatever you are learn in the c sharp just revise everything from the c sharp uh, then for each list item uh, li that's object of the list item and in list box 1 dot items so every item it will iterate through the every item and now this li dot selected is equal to true so if we have selected something then uh, this text of li dot text uh, will be assigned to the message and it will printed it as is selected and br it is for breaking the line every time so uh, next time again suppose we select uh, index 1 index 2 at the same time so two lines should be get printed with index 1 selected index 2 selected or text 1 selected text 2 selected here we are printing the text of that particular list item and at the end label 1 dot text it is assigned with the message now here you can see message plus equal to plus equal to means it is concatenating every time uh, until that iteration get completes so let's run this program oops example 3.asps view in browser this is an output here i selected item 1 suppose and say submit item 1 selected now i press the control key and then i'm choosing another item to say submit item 2 select again i am selecting item 3 say submit it is opening in the new browser item 1 2 3 selected if i select item 4 5 6 and one id select and how to select it press control key and then uh, select the item by your mouse cursor see item number 4 5 6 selected so in this way your items will be get displayed and but for that you have to use the iteration concept and you have to use looping for while or uh, do while and then here you have to iterate through every items and first you have to check whether the selected by the cursor it is true or not if it is true then assign that text to the message and concatenate that string until the iteration get complete and assign that string value to the label 
and through the label we can display it on the browser. This is the second example of multiple selection. Now let's see the third example. Next example. Uh, now here uh, it is unbound. Here we are not passing any data. It is binded at the source code. I will show you. And this is submit button. Now let's go to the source part. Here you can see uh, this is an example of data binding. This box. And here uh, through the page load. I told you that through the page load also uh, we can dynamically assign some values. Uh, and dynamically when page is loaded, get loaded, some values or uh, uh, some data will be get assigned. Now here we are assigning this value to the list box. Uh, through the UI we haven't assigned anything through the list box. Now here, uh, now this array list values is equal to new array list. One array list has been created and this array list containing these values item 1 2 3 4 5 6 so values dot add uh, so these values will be get added as an item 1 to item 6 and then list box 1 dot data source with these values will be binded now uh, this data source i told you that you can bind with uh, you you need a database for that but here they have created uh, at the page load one array and this array list will be having some data and that has been binded with the help of the data source that is also possible uh, so these values will be assigned to the data source and then uh, to bind these values to the list box another function we require that is a data bind function and then these values will be get assigned loaded now here uh, it is a part of the page load function or uh, when the page is loading and it is checking that it checks as to whether uh, your data is has been uh, not posted back to the server so your data first of all get loaded and then it will be sent to the server and meanwhile here you can add the data and you can bind the data uh, to that list box let's run this example this box 4 example 4 view in browser See here, uh, item 1 to 6 has been added. Click on the submit button. You chose the item number 1, data binding example. Now, what is the difference that through the UI, we are not assigning any list towards it. You can see nothing is bounded over here. Through the code, that page load code, here we have taken an array and through the array we are assigning some values and with this two line of functions list box one dot data source these values will be assigned and data bind this value will be binded this array list will be binded to the list box one. and then when the page get loaded dynamically this value get appear so for dynamic purp purpose you can use this uh, program for binding data at a run time so in this uh, video we learned three examples the first one uh, that is example two uh, here single selection of item and that will be get displayed uh, for example three here multiple selections and to display the multiple selection data on the label we require the iteration function and data binding we can do it dynamically at a runtime when the page loads uh, it is possible with the help of the data source and data bind function and we require some set of vectors or array list over there. So we have learned uh, three different views and how we can run these three different examples. So we will stop here and I think uh, right now you understand better about what is in a list box, how which are the different properties of list box, how it is used one UI example of list box, which are the different functions it is supported, uh, how to write a program with the help of the list box. So we will stop here and thank you.